two of Venice and we're currently in St. Mark's Square and there's so many people here it's crazy like this is probably the most amount of people we've seen so far and yeah so we're gonna walk around have a little look take some pictures and it looks so busy and there's so many birds Outside and there's not a single cloud, so we're all dying. Jack is getting some water from the water fountain, and there's a pigeon like bathing in the water fountain thing. But yeah, we're trying to find somewhere to eat because we haven't had breakfast yet, and it's like half past 11. So that is a plan. I'm just waiting for them to fill the bottle up, and then we're gonna find something to eat because I am starving and we really need to eat something and get out of the sun, even though we've only been out for like half an hour. A ticket for the water bus so we're gonna go to the Burano Island which is like 45 minutes that way so we're gonna see another island then uh, just Venice so this is gonna be very exciting We've made it to Burano. Look at all these beautiful colored houses and a very bright track as well. Trying to match the houses. Yeah. <laughs> it was so hot that boat and it was like 40 minutes and it was overcrowded and I almost died. And now it's very hot in here. We're yep. on here because it's an island and uh, we're gonna die from like sunburn. We're now doing the super touristy thing and we're going on a gondola because when in Rome or when in Venice you go on a gondola. Are you enjoying the first gondola? I'm loving my first gondola ride. It's 30 minutes for like 80 euros and so far it's been like three minutes and it's totally worth it. It's like proper Venetian experience and it's just like so peaceful. We're now done with the gondola ride and as you can see I'm all alone because I'm going to a museum and they didn't want to go to the museum and it's like secrets of Venice like crime stuff that's happened here so I'm very intrigued by that so I'm gonna go there now and then I'm gonna meet up with them later for dinner so I'm walking through St. Mark's Square in like almost golden hour and it's absolutely beautiful 
There's a lot less people here now than it was like this morning. So definitely recommend coming now. It's like six o'clock and there's like, it's actually quite empty. So you might actually get pictures without a bunch of tourists in the background. So yeah, I'm just trying to find my way to the museum. It's very easy to get lost here. Hopefully I'll not get lost all the way on in Venice. Not only am I super sweaty, I'm also getting lost in this place and I've been here for like five seconds. But let's listen to a little bit of information about Giac Giacomo Casanova. I just realized that my white balance was wrong, so it was really, really yellow. But this is kind of freaky. Because, like, there's no one in here. And you're, like, walking around. It's, like, creepy music. I'm, like, creepy stuff. It's all about executions and mm, creepy little dolls. Real human bodies. exhibition or the exhibit it was actually really really fascinating but I thought it would be more like cool information rather than just like a bunch of torture tools and like how they kill people I'm really intrigued I might go home and watch Casanova when I get back home to Sweden and yeah I think this is the rest of my Venice vlog we're going to Rome tomorrow so I'll pick up from there I'll see you again in the next video Please subscribe to my channel if you do enjoy it and give this video a thumbs up if you did like watching it. I'm gonna go meet up with my friends again, so I'll see you then. Until then, stay safe out there. Goodbye.